Hello everyone. Uh, hello from Philadelphia, where I am at the American Political Science Association Conference. Philadelphia, if I raise up my camera, you can maybe see the skyline. There you go. So um, this is a quick video update for you guys to let you know how things are going for me and how things are going for the channel. First of all, the paper went really well. I presented my paper yesterday morning about sex and gender and how we measure them in the social sciences and how we can do a better job. I'm currently working with two researchers from the UK, one from the University of Bath and another one from Queen Mary University, and we are constructing a long-term plan to make a proposal to better understand sex and gender as measured and used in the social sciences, including tackling that difficult issue that Professor Philip Moriarty and I discussed in terms of biological drivers, and are there really good scientific ways to disambiguate any biological causal factors from social factors. So that is point one. It's been a great conference, very enjoyable, and the paper was well received because it's obviously if you care about that issue and measurement and construct validity and other things, then uh, it's an important one to, to deal with because sex is a characteristic that we all possess. And so measuring it correctly is important. The next thing that I want to tell you guys is while I was here, this is really exciting, I was able to do an interview with one of the co-authors of the response paper in the journal Science to that study of psychological replication attempts. You know, you might remember, uh, playing overhead, you might remember in my debate with Carl Benjamin that he brought up this attempt by so, uh, social scientists, psychologists in 2015 to replicate the results of several psychological studies and they had real problems replicating results. Carl cited that in our debate as evidence that the social sciences are unreliable. Well, there was a paper that came out uh, earlier this year and I want to thank there was a person in my comment section who commented on my mirror of the debate review video from the Skeptic Feminist channel he mentioned that there was this response article, which I went and found and read and then linked Carl into. There's a whole drama there that I'll get into in another, in another video. But one of the co-authors of that study is here at the APSA conference and agreed to be interviewed by me. So in the next few days, I will be uploading that interview. It will be in the same style as the documentary I did on understanding atheism, because I think it's nice for up and coming academics to have that kind of media uh, format that they can show their interests in their science without being <clears throat> part of my channel or having me part of it. It's sort of a, a thing that's a thank you to them is to do a video with them discussing their own research um, and then they can use it whenever they want. So that interview is done and dusted. It's in the can as we, as I guess they'd say in the film industry and uh, I'll be editing that and putting it up hopefully before I leave to fly back to Germany. So look forward to that interview. It was a very interesting discussion and I will hope that Carl mirrors it on his channel because he did such a poor job at doing a correction video after I asked him to, if he was going to correct it in order to prevent his own viewers from having misunderstandings as to the state of social science. The third and last thing that I want to talk to you guys about is the video series Did Jesus Exist? The lectures are done. There will be a total of five or six, I think five, no, maybe six, I'll have to look. There are 60 plus slides and I've tried to break it up in what I think is a logical manner that will work in a 20 to 30 minute max video format. The question I have for you guys on the Did Jesus Exist series is this. Do you want me to publish all of the lecture notes at once or do you want me to publish the lecture notes that accompany the series with the videos as they come out? So again, it's the academic in me, um, if I'm going to be doing a lecture series like this, and also because I'm going to be interested in giving my evidence and arguments so that the mythicist side can respond accurately and, and not have to always use the video, I thought it would be only fair and polite to provide the references and the sources and the lecture notes that I used. Doing a big data dump of 60 slides might be too much, but then again, you might want to read through and watch the whole argument as I build it. So I'm going to let you guys decide. Do you want to see a link to a Dropbox public link to the entire series on the first video, or would you like it to be broken up so that you can follow along with specific lectures as I do them online? All right, I'm gonna get going. Even though it's a Saturday here, I still have work to do because I'm at a conference. 
and uh, of course in the evening uh, after I go out with some colleagues I'm hoping to get started on the video editing for the Pettigrew interview and that is all from me I've been Christy here in Philadelphia enjoying lots of American things foods mostly that I can't get access to back in Europe you've been awesome and we'll talk soon bye